Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to run random forest learner in NIME. Random forest is a machine learning algorithm that is used for classification and regression task. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple decision trees to make a more accurate and robust prediction. In a random forest, a large number of decision trees are constructed on different subsets on, of the data set. Each decision tree is constructed by randomly selecting a subset of features and a subset of data points from the original data set. During the training process, each decision tree is trained independently on its own subset of the data. Once all the trees are trained, they are combined to make the final prediction. The final prediction is made by taking the majority vote of all the individual tree predictions. The random selection of features and the data points helps to reduce the overfitting and increase the accuracy of the model. Random forests can handle large datasets with a high number of features and are generally robust to outliers and noise. Random forest is a popular algorithm for many applications including image classification, medical diagnosis and finance. It is relatively easy to implement and can be used for both classification and regression tasks. So you can see here one example is there. A data set has been, we are running on one particular data set, many decision trees. So we may get result 1, 2 and n. Out of this, the majority voting will be done and the final result is considered or rather final result is generated on the aggregation of all this decision tree. After this, after running the random forest, the output will generate out of back prediction. Out of back predictions are a concept in a machine learning algorithm, particularly in, in ensemble methods such as random forest. In this method, the algorithm creates a multiple decision tree by using the different subsets of the data for training each tree. O predictions, out of back predictions, are the predictions made by each decision tree on the data points that were not used for training that particular tree. So you can see here. Bag 1, bag 2, and bag 3. When we consider patient B and D in bag 1, this is an out of bag, out of bag set prediction. When we talk about bag 2, it consists of A, B, C, D, and therefore there is no out of bag set. If I talk about bag 3, it is having patient A and patient D. It, this means that if I try to predict for patient B and C, it is known as an out of bag prediction. In other words, when a decision tree is trained on a random subset of the data, there will, there will be some data points that were not used in the training process. These are referred to as out-of-bag samples. The decision tree can then make a prediction on these out-of-bag samples and compare them to the actual values of the out-of-bag samples. This comparison allows for an estimate of the performance of the algorithm on new unseen data. Out-of-back predictions are useful because they provide a way to evaluate the performance of the algorithm without the need for a separate validation set. They also provide a measure of the algorithm's robustness to different subsets of the data. Now, how to run random forest? Let's see in 9. So for this, I will activate input-output from here. I'll activate CSV Reader as my data set is in CSV format. connect hard one okay right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the file table now i want to predict the heart disease on the basis of age resting blood pressure cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise there are many variables in this data set i will i will only want to consider those variables which are matter of our interest so i'll activate the column filter right click on it and configure Introduce age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, and heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, execute. Again, activate the random forest learner. Configure. Make sure that the heart disease is a target variable. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and 
click on tree views you can see the hundred trees are there in this random forest you can see each tree one by one the output of second tree third tree fourth tree fifth tree now what we will do we will take the majority voting in this which will be done by the software on its own and we will try to find out the variables or rather we will try to find out how well the classification is on the basis of variables identified right click on it and see the out of back prediction so if i talk about heart disease out of back and this is the original data set how well the model fits to the data it gives in the out of back predictions so this is the way you can run random forest learner in nine for more videos on nine kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i already uploaded many videos on nine